It so happened. Supplementary reader in English for class 8. Page 62. Chapter 8. Jalebis. Part 1. An honest boy is on his way to school carrying money in his pocket to pay the school fees. The slight crisp of syrupy jalebis in the market excites him. and the coins in his pocket begin to jingle after a long debate with himself he yields to the sweet temptation it happened many years ago i was in the 5th standard at the government school kambelpur now called atak one day i went to school with 4 rupees in my pocket to pay the school fees and the fund when i got there I found that the teacher who collected the fees Mr Gulham Mohammad was on leave and so the fees would be collected the next day all through the day the coins simply sat in my pocket but once the school got over and I was outside they began to speak all right coins don't talk they jingle or go kanak kanak but i'm telling you that day they actually spoke one coin said what are you thinking about those fresh hot jalebis coming out of the kadhao in the shop over there they are not coming out for nothing jalebis are meant to be eaten and only those with money in their pocket can eat them word meanings khanak khanak meaning sound of jingling of coins jalebis meaning syrupy indian sweet kadhao means large open pot for cooking or boiling page 63 and money isn't for nothing money is meant to be spent and only they spend it who like jalebis look here you 4 rupees i said to them I am a good boy don't misguide me or it won't be good for you I get so much at home that I consider even looking at something in the bazaar a sin besides you are my fees and fund money if i spend you today then how shall i show my face to master gulam mohammed in school tomorrow and after that to alamia at qiyamat You probably don't know it but when master Gulam Mohammed gets angry and makes you stand on the bench he simply forgets to let you sit till the last bell rings so it's best you stop chewing at my ears like this and let me go home straight the coins disliked what i had said so much that all of them began to speak at the same time There was such a clamor that passers-by in the bazaar stared eyes wide with surprise at me and my pocket. The coin of those days, the wretched thing, made so much more noise too. Finally, in a panic, I grabbed all four of them and held them tight in my fist and then they were silent. Word meaning clamor meaning loud noise page 64 after taking a few steps i loosened my grip immediately the oldest coin said here we are trying to tell you something for your own good and you try to strangle us instead tell me honestly now don't you feel like eating those hot hot jalebis and then if you do end up spending us for today Won't you get the scholarship money tomorrow? Sweets with the fees money, fees with the scholarship money. End of story. Kissa khatam paisa hazam. What you are saying isn't right, I replied. But it isn't that wrong either. Listen. Stop blabbering and let me think. I am not a common sort of boy. But then These jalebis are no common sorts of jalebis either. They are crisp, fresh and full of sweet syrup. My mouth watered, but 
I wasn't about to be swept away so easily. In school, I was among the most promising students. In the fourth standard exams, I had even won a scholarship of four rupees a month. Besides, I came from a particularly well-to-do family, so I enjoyed considerable prestige. I'd never once been beaten so far. On the contrary, Master Ji had got me to beat the other boys. For a child of such status, standing there in the middle of the bazaar, eating jalebis? No, it wasn't right, I decided. I clenched the rupayas in my fist and came home. Word meanings? Kissa khatam paisa hazam. Meaning? End of story. Literally, story ends, money disappears. Blabbering, meaning talking confusedly. Prestige, meaning respect. Page 65 The coins were so keen on being spent that day, they kept up their attempts at persuasion till their voices began to choke. When I reached home and sat on the bed, they began to speak. I went inside to have lunch. They began to shriek. Thoroughly fed up, I rushed out of the house barefoot and ran towards the bazaar. Terrified I was, but quickly I told the halwai to weigh a whole rupee worth of jalebis. His astonished look seemed to be asking where I had the handcart in which I would carry all those jalebis. Those were inexpensive items. One rupee fetched more than 20 rupees does nowadays. The halwai opened up a whole newspaper and heaped a pile of jalebis on it. Comprehension check. Question 1. Why didn't he pay the school fees on the day he brought money to school? Question 2. 1. What were the coins saying? To him. 2. Do you think they were misguiding him? Question 3. Why didn't he take the coin's advice? Give two or three reasons. Question 4. 1. What did the oldest coin tell him? 2. Did he follow his advice? If not, why not? Question 5. He reached home with the coins in his pocket. What happened then? Part 2 A heap of jalebis he eats and shares them liberally with one and all. Though penniless now, he feels no less important than a mob leader. The real problem at hand is payment of school fees on time. Just as I was gathering up the heap in the distance, I spotted our Tonga. Chacha Jan was returning from court. I clutched the jalebis to my chest and ran into a gully. When I reached a safe corner, I began to devour the jalebis. I ate so many, so many jalebis that if anyone pressed my stomach a little, jalebis would have popped out of my ears and nostrils. Word meaning? Persuasion, meaning coaxing. Halwai, meaning sweet meat seller. Tonga, meaning two wheeled horse drawn vehicle. Gali, meaning narrow lane. Page 66. Very quickly, boys from the entire neighborhood assembled in the gully. By that time, I was so pleased with my stomach full of jalebis that I got into the mood for some fun. I started handing out jalebis to the children around. Delighted, they ran off, jumping and screaming into the gullies. Soon, a whole lot of other children appeared, probably having heard the good news from others. I dashed to the halwai and bought one more rupees worth of jalebis came back and stood on the chabutra of one of the houses, liberally distributing jalebis to the children 
just like the governor sahib used to distribute rice to the poor and needy on independence day by now there was a huge mob of children around me the beggars too launched an assault if children could be elected to the assembly my success would have been assured that day because one little signal from my jalebi wielding hand and the mob would have been willing to kill and get killed for me i bought jalebis for the remaining 2 rupees as well and distributed them then i washed my hands and mouth at the public tap and returned home putting on such an innocent face as if i hadn't even seen the hint of a jalebi all my life word meaning chabutra meaning platform assault meaning attack jalebi wielding hand meaning the hand that held jalebis page 67 jalebis i had gobbled up easily enough but digesting them became another matter with every breath came a burp and with every burp the danger of bringing out a jalebi or two the fear was killing me at night i had to eat my dinner as well if i hadn't eaten i would have been asked to explain why i did not want any food and if i had pretended illness the doctor would have been summoned and if the doctor after feeling my pulse had declared munna has devoured a mound of jalebis i would simply die the result was that all night i lay coiled up like a jalebi suffering a stomach ache thank god i didn't have to eat all 4 rupees worth of jalebis by myself otherwise as they say when children speak flowers shower from their mouths but i would be the first child in the world with whose every word a crisp fried jalebi would come out children don't have stomachs they have digestion machines my machine too kept working right through the night in the morning just like any other day i washed my face and like a virtuous student with chalk and slate in hand i headed for school i knew i would get the previous month's scholarship that day and once i'd paid the fees with that amount the jalebis would be completely digested but when i got to school i found out that the scholarship was going to be paid the following month my head started to spin i felt as if i was standing on my head and i could not get on to my feet again even if i tried master gulam mohammed announced that the fees would be taken during the recess when the recess bell rang i tucked my bag under my arm and left the school and simply followed my nose walking on and on if no mountain or ocean blocked my path i would have kept going till the earth ended and the sky began and once i got there i would say to allamia just this once save me order a farishta to pass by and drop just 4 rupees in my pocket i promise i will use them only to pay my fees and not to eat jalebis i couldn't reach the point where the earth ended but definitely reached the point where the kambelpur railway station began word meaning gobbled eaten quickly or greedily summoned meaning sent for or called virtuous meaning good and noble farishta meaning angel page 68 the elders had warned me never to cross the railway tracks fine the elders had also warned me that one must never eat sweets with one's fees money how did this instruction escape my mind that day i don't know comprehension check 
Question 1. 1. Why didn't he eat all the jalebis he had bought? 2. What did he do with the remaining jalebis? Question 2. The fear was killing me. What was the fear? Question 3. Children's stomachs are like digestion machines. What do you understand by that? Do you agree? Question 4. How did he plan to pay the fees the next day? Question 5. When it is time to pay the fees, what does he do? How is he disobeying the elders by doing so? Part 3. Remorseful and scared, he prays to God for monetary help. He makes matters look normal but prays harder than ever. The inevitable happens, though somewhere along the way he notices the divide between the fanciful and the factual. There was a shade-giving tree beside the railway tracks. I sat under it and wondered whether there could possibly be a more unfortunate child than me in this world. When the coins had first created a racket in my pocket, the entire matter seemed so simple and straightforward. Eat jalebis with the fees money and then pay the fees with the scholarship money. I thought that 2 and 2 added up to 4 and could never be 5. How was I to know that sometimes it added up to 5 as well? Had I known that I would get the scholarship the next month, I would have postponed my jalebi eating program to the next month as well. Now, for the crime of eating a few jalebis, for the first time in my life, I was absent from school and crouching in the shade of a tree in a deserted corner of the railway station. Sitting there under the tree, at first I felt like crying. Word meanings? Racket meaning uproar or loud noise. Crouching meaning sitting as if hiding. Page 69 Then I felt like laughing when it struck me that the tears I was shedding were not tears but drops of jalebi syrup. From the jalebis my thought went to the fees and from fees to Master Ghulam Muhammad's cane, and from his cane I thought of God. I closed my eyes and began to pray. Allah Mia, I am a very good boy. I have memorized the entire namaz. I even know the last ten surats of the Quran by heart. If you wish, I can recite the entire ayat al-kursi for you just now. The need of your devoted servant is only the fees money that I ate jalebis with. So all right, I admit I made a mistake. I didn't eat them all by myself, though I fed them to a whole lot of children too. But yes, it was a mistake. If I had known the scholarship money would be given next month, I would neither have eaten them nor fed them to others. Now, you do one thing. Just put 4 rupees in my bag. If there is a pesa more than 4 rupees, I will be very displeased with you. I promise, if I ever eat sweets with my fees money again, then let a thief's punishment be my punishment. So, Allah Mia, just this once, help me out. There is no shortage of anything in your treasury. Even our chaprasi takes a whole lot of money home every month. And Allahji, after all, I am a nephew of a big officer. Won't you give me just four rupees? After the prayer, I offered namaz, recited ten surats, ayat al-kursi, kalma-e-tayyab, in fact, everything that I remembered. Then I blew over my bag saying, Shoo! Word meanings, surats, verses from the Holy Quran. Ayat al-Kursi, meaning title of a verse in the Holy Quran. Treasury, meaning wealth. Chaprasi, 
meaning peon chu meaning sound of blowing over the bag to ward off evil bismillah meaning in the name of god words spoken before starting something page 70 then after saying bismillah i realized that what they said was only too true no one can erase what fate has decreed forget 4 rupees there weren't even 4 paise in my bag just a few textbooks and notebooks one pencil one sharpener one eid card my mamu had sent me last eid i felt like crying as loudly as i could but then i remembered that school must have ended and children must be on their way home tired and defeated i got up from there and walked to the bazaar and waited for the school bell to ring so that when the children come out i too could walk home with them as if i had come straight from school i didn't even realize that i was standing near the jalebi wala's shop suddenly the halwai called out kyon bhai shall i wear rupees worth don't you want jalebis today i felt like saying i won't eat your jalebis today but i'd sure like to roast your liver and eat that instead but i wasn't feeling too well that day so i simply moved away the next day i did the same thing i got dressed and left home went up to the school gate and then turned off to the railway station under the same tree i sat and began to say the same prayers i repeatedly pleaded allah mia at least give it to me today today is the second day then i said all right come let's play a game i will go from here to that signal you secretly place 4 rupees under this big rock i will touch the signal and come back what fun it will be if i pick up the rock and find 4 rupees underneath so are you ready i'm going towards the signal 1 2 3 i went up to the signal and returned smiling but i could not find the courage to pick up the rock what if the coins were not there but then i thought what if they were finally after saying bismillah when i lifted up the rock this big hairy worm got up and curling and twisting wriggled towards me i screamed and ran away and once again touched the signal page 71 then crawling on my hands and knees i reached the tree i tried my best not to let my eyes stray towards the rock but as i picked up my bag and was about to leave i had to look once again at the rock and do you know what i saw there i saw mr worm coiled on it comfortably staring at me i walked away thinking tomorrow i will do wazu wear clean clothes and come here from morning to noon i will keep reading the namaz if even after that allah doesn't give me 4 rupees i will be forced to learn how to strike bargains or make deals with him after all if my allah does not give me my 4 rupees then who will that day when i returned home apparently from school and actually from the railway station i was caught the report of my absence had reached home it's useless to relate what happened after that well whatever happened happened but up to the 7th or 8th standard i kept wondering if alamia had sent me 4 rupees that day what harm could it have possibly caused anyone it was only later that i came to the conclusion that if alamia were to provide all for the asking then man would even today be living in nests like vultures and crows and would not have learnt the art of making jalebis 
by Ahmad Nadeem Kasmi translated from the Urdu by Sufia Pathan word meaning wazu meaning ablution washing face hands and feet before praying page 72 comprehension check question 1 what was the consequence of buying jalebis with the fees money question 2 His prayer to God is like a lawyer's defense of a bad case. Does he argue his case well? What are the points he makes? Question 3. He offers to play a game with Alamia. What is the game? Question 4. Did he get 4 rupees by playing the game? What did he get to see under the rock? Question 5 If God had granted his wish that day what harm would it have caused him later in life Exercise Work in small groups 1 Select and read sentences that show that the boy is tempted to eat jalebis that he is feeling guilty that He is justifying a wrong deed. 2. Discuss the following points. Is the boy intelligent? If so, what is the evidence of it? Does his outlook on the jalebis episode change after class 8? Does he see that episode in a new light? Why are coins made to talk in this story? What purpose does it serve? Think it over. I do not feel obliged to believe that the same God who has endowed us with senses, reason and intellect has intended us to forego their use and by some other means to give us knowledge which we can attain by them. It so happened. You were just listening to this audio book. Production assistance Meenakshi Kukreti recorded by Batilang Lingdo. Technical assistance Vikas Sangwan produced by Ajit Horo and presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi.